Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Finally 2K7, and we are back for a brand new Grand Theft 5 real life mod video. And today, we're going to be playing as a pilot with American Airlines. And it's been a really long time since we've done a video on being an airline pilot. And you guys actually was leaving some comments last week about doing it. So, I was like, you know what? It's been a while. Let's go ahead and make it happen. So, Skyline GTR Freak just released this amazing Boeing 787-900 dreamliner and this thing looks amazing so i figured what better plane to use right now than the dreamliner also i have my first officer here as well he's going to do some of the um, inspections before we get going and i'm just going to work on getting the aircraft ready we kind of don't have a like you know uh flight crew or whatever ground crew so i'm just going to do this by ourselves all right, so I'm just going to move some of these uh, vehicles out the way. So this is a cargo loader here that is used to load the aircraft. So we already are done with that. So let's move this out the way. And let's actually also close these cargo doors. And I think it was this one. Yep. So the front and the rear ones could both open. And also all of these um, ground vehicles that we're using, these are also all by Skyline GTR Freaks. So huge shout outs to him. Make sure you guys check him out on his GTA 5 mods page and also his YouTube channel. And I'll link everything down below in the video description. So I'm going to put this over here. And like I said, guys, I know obviously the pilots <laughs> are not responsible for this, but since we're kind of playing single player right now, we kind of just have to do all of the ground crew duties. So uh, we also have this stair truck right here. Let's get this up and extend it. All right, that should be good right about there. All right, and we're going to hop inside. And you know what? We're going to also have to push back. This is, we're really going to have to do everything, guys. But let's head inside the cockpit really quickly. Take a quick look. All right, guys. So we are inside the cockpit of the 787. Looks very, very nice. The camera angle is a little weird right here. We're kind of like seeing the back of our head. But one thing we could do, if we just make ourselves like invisible, that would kind of like fix that problem. But yeah everything looks good so let's hop back out and i think all that we really have to do i guess we'll do the pushback and then we'll hop back in so i'm gonna move the stair truck out of the way and then we'll grab the tug and we'll push this thing back and we'll also just close the doors for departure too All right, those doors are closed. We'll hop out of this. Let's get into the tug. All right, turn these lights on. And we're gonna now push back the 787. Oh, it's a trunk, okay. All right, so we'll open up those arms. We already have our lights on and I'll try to back this into position. Alright, looks like we are lined up. So let's go ahead and close those arms. Alright, they are now closed. And let's start our pushback. Now this is like GTA 5 and they never really planned for us to be doing stuff like this, but thanks to the amazing modders in the community, we could do stuff like this. Just don't mind the little bit of uh, stuff smashing and stuff like that. It's, a, it's not perfect, but it, it does work really well. Alright, so I think they could pretty much taxi the rest of the way out. So we will open up the doors. Trying to get a good angle, but oh, one side didn't release. Hold up. 
package. There we go. All right, so we have that released. Oh, it keeps closing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're just banging up the aircraft, guys, but that's okay. So we'll park this up over here, and now we'll hop back into the 787, and we'll get out of here. All right, guys, so we are inside of the cockpit of the 787. I have my first officer with me, and we are ready for departure. Uh, yeah, let's get going, guys. You know what I could probably do, too, to make these lights not as bright? Let me um, turn down the setting really quickly. All right, guys, so... Our cockpit is looking much better. We turned the brightness down a little bit. And I just realized the most important thing, guys. I didn't tell you guys where we're flying from or where we're flying to. So we're leaving Los, in Los Santos International Airport, uh, a.k.a. LAX, or Los Angeles International. Oh, barely fit right there. And we're going to be flying to Liberty City from GTA 4, guys. So this is actually the first time I'm using the Liberty City map. For GTA 4 it's called Liberty City Rewind and it basically adds the GTA 4 map to GTA 5 and it's pretty detailed I kind of flew over it just to take a look at it and I'm kind of excited to show it off and I probably will do some more videos um, from Liberty from the Liberty City map but today basically our goal is to fly the passengers from um, Liberty City or from Los Santos to Liberty City which is going to be pretty cool. So it's kind of like we're flying from LA and um, California to um, New York City in New York. Kind of, sort of, but it's going to be like a five minute trip instead of like a five hour trip for however long it takes in real life. So we're going to taxi down. I may have to taxi down the runway actually because it looks like there's a lot of stuff on the taxiway here. So I'm going to try to just taxi down the runway. We're getting our clearance from ground and tower. They said we are allowed to back taxi here. All right, so we're just doing this to get around all of that stuff that they left on the taxiway there. But yeah, this plane looks amazing, though. This is going to be fun. And I think we're going to also try to fly back to Los um, Santos as well after we leave Liberty City. So maybe we'll like make it nighttime or add bad weather or something like that. And if you guys do enjoy this episode, definitely let me know by hitting the like button and leaving some comments down below. And also give me some suggestions if you guys would like to see this like again or if you guys want to see me fly like another plane. Give me some suggestions down below in the comment section. It's going to be extremely tight. I don't know if I'm going to make this turn, but we are going to try. This thing actually turns really well. I'm actually surprised. I did not think I was going to be able to like maneuver this aircraft this slow. Alright, so we're going to be taking off from runway 33 right here. And tower is clearing us to line up on the active runway. This thing looks so short. Hopefully we have enough space to get up in the air, guys. Alright, this is a little bit unrealistic, but I'm just going to try to fix that last turn. Okay, there we go. All right, so we are now lined up and holding, waiting for clearance, and looks like we are cleared to take off, guys. All right, takeoff dress is set. All right, airspeed is alive. Got V1, and rotate. Got the positive rate of climb, landing gear going up. And we're actually going to just depart over Los Santos. I figured it would be like a more 
a nicer flight. We could have we could have just took off the opposite direction and we would have been like right in Liberty City already. But I figured that would be like too short. So we're gonna kind of fly over Los Santos here on our departure. Helicopter traffic. Oh, we got a plane, a 747, right in front of us, too. So I'm going to try to do a mixture of both third person and first person for you guys. Seems to be a lot of car traffic right now too. Oh my god, there's a helicopter directly in front of us. Trying to watch that helicopter, we should be clear. Alright, very nice takeoff. Believe it or not, guys, it is time for us to start our descent into Liberty City. So there goes Liberty City right off the coast. Oh my god, that helicopter is really close. Alright, I'm going to climb a little bit more. Alright, so here is Liberty City, guys, in Grand Theft Auto 5, thanks to the Liberty City Rewind mod. I'm going to try to name out what all of the islands are based off of. So like this first island you guys are seeing, I believe this one is based off of New Jersey, if I remember correctly. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below. But I believe this one is supposed to be New Jersey. And then this next one in the middle, which you kind of can't see it all. Um, let's just fly directly over it. This next one in the middle, it should load in. That's going to be Manhattan. So you have, you have New Jersey, then you have Manhattan, and then over here, I believe this is supposed to be the Bronx, like right over there, I believe. And then you have the airport over there. The airport, I'm guessing, is Queens, since Queens is where the airports are in real life. You have the uh, Statue of Liberty down there. So we're flying over Manhattan right now. I gotta figure out why, like, there's water in the middle of the city. I'm not sure about that. Oh, there goes the Get a Life building. You guys remember that? That's that's um, made off of the Met Life building. Um, and then down here, uh, with this Ferris wheel and everything, that should be Brooklyn, because that's basically made off of, like, um, uh, what is it? Uh, I can't think of it right now. Brooklyn. You guys know what I mean, though. Where they have the carnival and stuff like that. The Ferris wheel. Uh, I cannot think of the name right now. Oh, okay, I remember now. I was just about to look it up, but I remember. It's Coney Island. So, yeah, Coney Island, I'm guessing, is right over there. So, that would be Brooklyn. Alright, so let's uh, make our way in and land. Now, the landing is a little tricky because, oh, they have like these poles right near the runway that we gotta watch out for. And then the runway is also kind of short, too, but yeah, this, this side isn't too bad. You guys see that pole? Too? Oh! Oh, I'm too low, too low. Okay. Oh, I came in way too low. That was close. Oh man, that was really close. But if you guys noticed that um that pole right there, like our wing could have clipped it if we didn't come in low enough. So it was, it was a little tricky. You gotta come in high enough to avoid the pole, but then not too high to the point where you're like overshoot the runway. But yeah guys, welcome to Francis International Airport. So let's find a place where we could uh park this thing up and unload our passengers.
And like I said, guys, I'm going to do some more videos with this map mod or with this DLC so we could check out the rest of Liberty City. And maybe we'll even add like some NYPD cars and stuff like that, so we'll see. Oh man, I'm going to hit something here. Damn, my engine's hitting the signs, my wing's about to hit this. Okay, we just had to muscle through. So, up, oh, hitting another sign. Alright, um, is there any. It looks like all of the um, terminals are occupied. I can't delete any of these, so. Um, I guess we're just going to have to get the stair truck and unload everybody because there's really nowhere for us to park up, so guess we're just gonna park up right here. Alright guys, so uh, we're on the ground. Just gonna straighten this uh, plane up a little bit here. This probably wasn't the best idea to put it here because I'm going to have no room for the stair truck. I don't think I could delete any of these. Yeah, I can't delete any of these objects. But, um, let me see. Did I put, yeah, the stair truck is right here. Let's see, are we going to have enough space here? There's actually another door right here. So we could kind of, maybe we could just use this door. Yeah, we'll use that door instead. Alright, perfect. So I'll just leave that attached. And we'll put the door back into place. We'll get this thing unloaded and then we'll get it ready to get turned around and head back towards Los Santos. Alright, there we go. So we have that door open. I wonder if we could actually go up there. I didn't really try it out. No, this doesn't actually have an interior. Okay. So, we'll get this thing unloaded. We'll also open up the cargo doors as well. Alright. And we'll wait for it to get de deplaned. And then we'll refill it. We'll board up again. And we'll head back to Los Santos. Alright guys, it is time for our departure. We actually ended up being here longer than I planned. It is now nighttime. Uh, we also have a little bit of rain as well, but it really shouldn't affect our flight too much since it's really light. So let's get this thing pushed back. Has actually a pretty decent pushback. <laughs> a piece came off. All right, so let's prepare for a departure. I'm gonna make myself invisible again. City should look really nice at night too, guys. I don't know if I can make that turn right there. That would be tight. We'll just use menu. Okay, there we 
go. Alright, so we are cleared for takeoff, guys, and let's go. Tate. So scared of these poles. <laughs> look at his look at his pole right here, guys. Look how who puts a pole like that right there. <laughs> oh man, landing gear coming up. Whoa, what? What? What the heck? Okay. That well, that was a disaster. So that's because we're kind of far out right now. And um, we need this mod called the No Boundaries mod <laughs> to avoid that happening. Wow, I cannot believe that just happened. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna take off from this runway over here. Does it act like that didn't happen, guys? You you guys didn't even see nothing. Don't worry, you guys are okay. As long as y'all have y'all seatbelt on, you guys are fine. Trust me. So we're gonna take off this way. We should be fine this way. But I cannot believe that happened. That is so crazy. <laughs> Oh man, we just lost a wing. Alright, let's just reset our rotation. Just for the record guys, that does not count as a crash because the game is basically designed to make you like crash once you get too far away from the map. So like, there's a mod to avoid that and also coastal callouts avoids that too, but since I don't have the mod or coastal callouts in, that it just really happens. But if we take off this way, we should be fine um, since we're heading back towards the city. All right, so let's try it out one more time. All right, American Flight 27, you are cleared for takeoff. All right, airspeed is alive. Got V1. And rotate. Watch out for these poles. Positive rate, landing gear coming up. And take a look at the beautiful city of Liberty City here, GTA 5. So we're gonna fly over this area. Like I said, I think that's Coney Island. I don't remember all the like in-game names and stuff um, since I haven't played GTA 4 in so long, but it looks really nice. We gotta get a car and drive around out here. Is there traffic? I put a, I put another mod in that's supposed to make trap. Oh, I forgot about this. This happened to me before too. I forgot those things load in super slowly. Good thing I looked. But I don't see any cars though. But I thought I added added them in. I gotta go investigate that later on. But yeah guys, Liberty City and GTA 5. I've been meaning to try this mod out for so long. Like it's been out for like two years, I think. And I'm just now trying it out. We also did the Vice City one too. I don't know if any of you guys remember that video, but that was a lot of fun when we flew to Vice City. Alright, well, just like that guys, it is time to land. clear to land on the right runway I forgot what number it is but we're gonna land on the right runway there I'm kind of excited for Microsoft to get back into flight simulator like the new Microsoft flight simulator 20 is looking amazing so far I used to play um, flight simulator back before I started playing like GTA 5 a long time ago and that's actually why my name is Ace Pilot 2K7 because I started out in 2007 playing flight simulator for those of you who do not know but uh, yeah let's put this baby down nice and easy luckily the rain isn't too hard Attention air 
Uh oh. Yeah, imagine we just got shot. We're good. Whoa, the 747 coming in from the opposite way. Pretty dangerous. Oh, I did not. I heard another plane, but I did not see it. Wow. Good thing we didn't hit that guy. So let me know guys, what do you guys think of the 787? Have any of you guys flown on one before? I have not, but it seems like a very nice plane to fly on. And it's a very like fuel efficient plane as well. It could fly really far, so I would love to fly on one one day. I've mainly been on smaller planes since I really, the farthest I've ever flown, I think was just from like New York to Jamaica. Um, I've been in New York to Florida a couple of times, New York to uh, Georgia a couple of times, and the farthest was when I went to New York to Jamaica, but that was only one time. And those were mainly on JetBlue Airbus A320s and 321s. We also went on a Delta A321, I think, or maybe it was a 320. And back when I flew to Florida when I was younger, we've been on the uh, MD-88s with American Airlines a couple times. I also saw the Delta MD-88 as well. But we are back guys. We made it here safely besides that one little screw up. But I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to say that it doesn't count because it wasn't really our fault. You know, like the game is just designed to do that if you fly too far away. So like that wasn't my fault. You guys can't hold that against me. But we, we made it, guys. It's a little too, a little too close there, buddy. All right, so we're back on the ground. We safely flew from Los Santos to Liberty City and from Liberty City back to Los Santos. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, do me a favor. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. And if you guys want to see me fly more planes in GTA 5 and to fly to some of the other airports, definitely let me know. Maybe we could fly to Sandy or maybe we could fly to Grapeseed or I don't know, maybe Fort Zancudo. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.